today on Be Something Wonderful. Stop trying to believe it and do this instead. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had an amazing session yesterday with a client. And in this client, the whole session really was about, he said, I'm struggling to believe beyond the 3D conditions. And we really hit it like we never have before. And what, what happened this morning, or maybe last night, there was a comment on the channel from one of you that was a perfect segue <laughs> today's video. And again, I'm putting the comment up there so we can all level up, <laughs> right? And, and have some fun with it as well. And I think, and, and so I really want to hit this, this client that's struggling to believe beyond the conditions. And then this subscriber that said on one of the videos, he, he, watch, he or she watched a clip of one of the videos. They couldn't have watched the whole video or they wouldn't have commented. They wouldn't have had, the comment would have been different. But the comment says, you are saying that conditions our source and you are source, personal bookmark. And I just want to say, guys, I don't know where this subscriber has been because we have 1,100, more than 1,100 videos saying that you are source. And here's the distinction because it's much bigger than that. Yes, conditions are source. Hear this. Everything is source energy but conditions are not source of other conditions. Do you hear it? So you, I get it. What you were saying is right. Reality creation 101. You are source. Conditions are not source. But the message was so much bigger. And that's why I brought it up. I want you to really go back, watch the entire video, or watch any video out of the 1100 on the channel to really give you an idea that we're, we're always talking about that you are source, but the message is always much bigger. And so this really helps with today's lesson. And, and thank you for commenting because it really, it really now is going to open this up and give us a whole new understanding. This client trying to believe he's already who he desires to be beyond the 3D conditions. The reason it feels impossible and this is his words, it feels impossible, is because the conditions are source. In other words, everything is source energy. You are source. You are one with that source. Everything is source. Those conditions are source. It, but, but we're not saying, which this, this subscriber who commented on the channel was implying, that conditions are equal to source, of, uh, that they are source of other conditions. We never say that. Right? But remember, it's all source energy. So if you really get back to it, it is source of other conditions because there's only source. Do you get it? It's so much bigger when you watch a little clip and then you and then we 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 give a, a quick comment that that but it's great because it provides us a whole new reason to level up to go deeper than the comment, right? But remember. They're not source of other conditions, but they are source of themselves. Conditions are source of themselves because everything is source and you are source. Do you see it? You are source. You are the conditions. Everything is source. There's no out there out there. It's all love. It's all one. It's all unity. This is big, right? This is beyond the linear 3D thinking that conditions are not source and you are. It's beyond that comment. Right? Stop the, stopping there. Hear this. What you're really implying, stopping there puts the conditions outside yourself. Right? You're, with your comment on the channel, that subscriber that said, that said that, what you're implying is that somehow there's source and then there's conditions. And that those conditions, that, that source is the source of those conditions that you are, but that those conditions are outside yourself as something existing outside of you, even though you're a source of them. Do you see it? And that's what my client is struggling with. It's a beautiful unfolding. Your comments are beautiful because it really gives us a, an opportunity to unpack it like we never have before. So let's hit it. So, um, so stop trying. So let me get this up here. Yeah. So this subscriber saying, again, it was, I think it was a, he, he watched one clip of a video and missed the message because there's a bigger message. There always is. You're saying that the conditions are source. In a bookmark, you are source. I get it, but source is source. That's a linear basic idea. I get it. Reality creation 101. 
right? Your source, right? And that, and that conditions are not source. But remember, conditions are source energy. And, though, and source energy is only moves upon itself. Everything is source, right? Where have you been? There are more than 1,100 videos unpacking this. That's really, I just want to play with you here. Because there's so much content there to giving you this message. What, are, what we are saying, what we are saying is much bigger than that. The idea that three conditions are not source is reality creation 101. We all agree with that. But there's a distinction. There's only source, only ultimate reality, only one energy, one love, one power, one, the one within it has a multiplicity of forms within it. All of those forms are source energy taking form, some form, but it's all source, right? But remember, you are equal to source, you're equal conditions. There's no separation with your comment. You're almost applying it as a separation that yes, you're source, but those conditions now that you sourced are outside of you. Do you hear it? And that puts you in a place where, you, where it feels impossible, like my client, right? Your comment implies separation, that there's a source and then there are conditions produced by and outside of that source. Do you see that? That's impossible, right? We believe we are the conditions. We are source. That's, but, but, and we are, but we believe somehow that they're outside of us and they're hard to change. Do you see it? This really provides a teaching moment an opportunity for all of us to level up, right? And so what was the discussion? Stop trying to believe it and move to the version of yourself that already does. Stop trying to believe it. When you try to believe it, it implies that I am not and that's impossible. There's just I am. And when you try to believe something, you're implying that I am not. You'll never convince the 3D world, you, the 3D world linear you, that is looking out at at, is looking out at conditions, right? Is looking out at outer conditions, <laughs> outer conditions for proof of who they are, that they are already that they wish to be. Can you hear that? If you're looking at our, as you look at outer conditions for proof of who you are, then, then, then you'll never be convinced that you're already that which you desire to be. Do you see it? It's the effort and the resistance from trying to believe that's keeping you from moving to and occupying a new reality. You are announcing, I am not. Stop trying to believe and just be willing to believe in that multidimensional you. And this is how we're going to unpack it today like we never have before, right? Turn to your multidimensional self, your source I am, and be willing to believe. Remember the lesson of the prodigal son. When you turn to God, God turns to you. It's the law of reciprocity. When you turn to that greater power, to that greater source within you, it turns to you, right? Turn to your multidimensional self, your source, your I am, and be willing to believe. That's all that's required, right? God will take it the rest of the way. Hear this, right? Dare to assume that if you can imagine it, you can desire it, you can think it, you can wish it, there's a multidimensional you, version of you, living it. Wow, hear this. So big. Dare to assume that if you can imagine it, you can desire it, you can think it, you can wish it, there's a multidimensional version of you living it right now, right? If there were not, right, if that were not the truth, if that were not true, or if that were not the truth, hear this, you wouldn't be able to receive the image in the form of a desire. Because that's what's happening. A desire is you receiving an image. Do you hear it from your multidimensional you? You wouldn't be able to receive it in the form of a desire or the form of a thought or a wish or a longing, right? Desire or desiring is you receiving the reality or version of yourself from that multidimensional you. And the reason you, it feels like desiring and wanting is because you're not moving and occupying it. Wow. So desire is that image. The thought is that image. The imagine you're receiving it, but you're not accepting it. You're staying in desiring. You're staying in wanting, right? Accept that gift and move to it. Instead of going, I am not immediately, go to I am. That is so big. I'll let you kind of absorb that one. That's a big one. So you couldn't want or desire anything if it weren't already yours, and if it weren't already that, if you weren't already that. We've talked about that idea, right? You wouldn't be able to desire it. Think of it. Imagine it, 
right? If it weren't already yours, if you weren't already that, that's why God said to Moses, I am that I am. I am who I am. I am source. This is my name forever, and this is the name for all generations to call upon me. I use the NASB here because it's powerful, right? Because in other versions, it says, this is my memorial to all generations. It feels like it's a memor- the, the name memorial implies it's remembering something that's past. It isn't. It's to remember. The memorial is to remember that you are that great I am. You are one with that. Right? And that, that you use that name, I am, to call upon God or to call upon that higher power. So big. I am that I am. I am source. This is my name forever. And this is the name for all generations to call upon me. NASB. Right? The memorial to all generations. The memory. Right? It's for you to remember who you really are. That's what we're talking about. Invoke the name of God by announcing I am that and I am who I am as opposed to I am not, right? And that's what happens when you look at conditions for, the de- for defining that who you are, right? You get to decide who you are in that moment, so big. And the reality is that all wishes have been fulfilled, right? All dreams have come true. Your desire, your wish, your longing is an image from God, from your multidimensional self to remind you the memorial I am that. My name forever. It's my memorial to all generations. Wow. <laughs> right? It's an image from God, God's memorial, your multidimensional self to remind you I am that or I am who I am, urging you to accept the gift you are receiving. Right? Urge you, nudging you in some cases, urging you to remember, to declare, to invoke, to announce and claim I am who I am. I am that I am. To move from I am not, in other words, from desiring, wanting, and longing, to I am that, or I am who I am. When you turn to God, God turns to you. That was the lesson of the prodigal. That was the lesson of of the reciprocity of that God power, of that God consciousness. Stop trying to believe it and just be willing to believe in that multidimensional you. Assume you are that. Claim it. Accept that desire, accept that gift from God, accept that announcement, accept that memorial, and move to it. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for liking and sharing and commenting on the videos. Thank you for joining the membership channel. We do have a membership uh, video queued up. It's coming. And... Um, Thank you for joining our Facebook group, the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We have an Instagram and um, Twitter at Tom Karen, or just go to our website anytime at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com for all that information and more. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. With great love, With great light and infinite gratitude, creators, see you soon.